Alrighty. So, I really didn't want to, I guess, touch on this. But I seen a video yesterday. And it was really, really discouraging. And everybody knows that I'm a Trumper bus girl. Shout out to uh, Kelly. I know for that Trumper bust. Trumper bust. It's an inside joke. But anyway, um, basically saying that, you know, I feel as if that's the only viable option we have to get the job done. But when I look at this situation right here, and I'm going to answer this or assess this with honesty now look all things considered at best i would call it distasteful at best i mean let's not act like we never heard the name larry silverstein let's not act like we don't know about President Bush, okay? And the list goes on. I'm not going to deep dive on this. And it has been a topic that's been picked apart front to back, up and down, you know, whatever you can think of. But I don't understand if people tell us you know, you cannot get mad at a whole group of people for, I'm, I'm just saying, let's just go with the concept that this is what happened. These are the people that did everything. And that's who everyone wants to be angry at. Got it. So, I have to totally disregard a whole group of what Indians uh, you know uh, I mean just you we have to throw out a whole group of people because of this incident is that what we're doing because if that's the case we would have to cancel a whole lot of people and like I said, I mean, distasteful at best. I get it. I feel extremely bad for the people that lost loved ones, friends, co-workers, what, you know, et cetera, et cetera, with the Twin Towers. It was a horrible day in America. It was a horrible day for everyone, especially the ones that lost someone. And my deepest condolences go out to them. But if I have to look at this from a fair, balanced standpoint, I have to say that this looks odd to me. Because I'm not going to just hate a whole group of people for what a few people out of that group did. I mean, come on, we got to be fair. And like I said, for Trump, again, distasteful at best. He could have potentially picked different, but it is what it is. And I'm not, you know, I didn't lose anybody that day. I can't, you know, I can try to be empathetic. But I'm not going to judge him for deciding to host this golf tournament and inviting Saudis. Because, in air quotes, all Saudis are not responsible for what a few did. And with that being said, I'm going to leave it at that. Um... My prayers, condolences all go out to everyone 
that experience lost that day that was a huge heartbreak in America but I have to be fair so all right